Hello everyone and welcome to another video in the Chinese character phonetic uh, series or Chinese character etymology series. Um, if you do not know what these uh, phonetic series are, I welcome you to go ahead and watch the first video in the series where I talk about it more in detail. And in this video, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about uh, the characters that you can see over here on the screen. So the title phonetic character in the entire series is pronounced bien. Two pronunciations. Uh, the first pronunciation is bien. So it's called an A pronunciation. And when it's pronounced uh, bien, it has two meanings. It's a tablet tablet uh, or sort of like a signboard or something like that and the second meaning is uh, flat and the B pronunciation for this character is pin pin and the first tone and in this case it's either a surname pin surname or uh, it can mean a small boat boat and um, the sort of like the, the meaning that we have of these four, which is the most relevant for the character, and which was the original meaning of the character, can be traced from this meaning, a tablet or a signboard, because the character originally, originally used to mean household registration number. Household registration, not a number, a tablet, sorry. Tablet. Household registration tablet and it comprises or it is built up of two elements the first element is this element over here which is pronounced who who and it is a it is a character which is sort of which represents households and the second element is what remains is this one over here pronounced t and it's a booklet booklet so you can see these two elements in the character clearly merge into the meaning household registration tablet household and booklet household registration tablet very straightforward and very easy to understand and uh, the characters that it can be found in as the phonetic element uh, there are more than the the, the six that I've uh, that I'm showing here on the screen um, but these are probably the most frequent ones so I'm just go, going to go ahead and talk about uh, these characters as they go. So the first character is pronounced bien, bien, and the first tone is several meanings, at least four, four that I found. Um, so let me just go ahead and list them. The first meaning is to edit, edit something. Um, bien ji, bien ji is an editor or to to, uh, sorry, uh, it's an editor or to to edit something. Uh, the second meaning is to knit or to weave. The third meaning is arrange or organize. And the fourth meaning is to write or to compose. Compose. Now, the meaning that is the most relevant uh, to the character as is and from which the original meaning can be traced back to is to knit or to weave that was probably the original meaning of the character might have meant something slightly slightly different but definitely along those lines um, because the semantic element in the character is s silk and then through probably very complicated uh, semantic shifts and maybe sound loans, it came to mean edit, organize, compose, and many other different things. But the original meaning of the character was to knit. Semantic element, silk, s. Second character in the series also pronounced bien. And it is a bat, the animal. Bat. Semantic element, Chong. And chong is usually translated as a as an insect, but it can be found in many characters that um, represent lizards or snakes or things like that. And bat is arguably not a lizard, but <laughs> approximates that. <laughs> so uh, that's why they chose to have this element in this character. So chong, uh, insect. Next character in the series, bien. 
in the fourth tone. So bien, bien, bien. Um, two meanings. Uh, first meaning is everywhere. And the second uh, meaning is um, it's a measure word, and this is the symbol I give to measure words for repetitiveness. For repetitiveness. So um, when it means everywhere, you can find it in words like pu bian. Pu bian means general. Like pu bian zhi shi, it means uh, general knowledge. And uh, maybe a slight of a challenge to relate, well, not a challenge, but maybe a bit more complicated to relate everywhere to uh, general, but it is possible. And when it means repetitiveness, numerator or uh, measure word for repetitiveness, you can find in expressions like uh, which means say it again. So say it one more time. So this time in English in the expression say it one more time is what bien means. The original meaning of the character was... Um, to basically walk all over the place or to walk around in a circle, um, things like that. And from, from that, it was extended to everywhere. And uh, the semantic element for the character is chuo, which means to walk. To walk. Again, it, it's just a symbol that represents uh, the verb or the meaning, to walk. The next character in the series is pronounced pian. So, Slight change in the uh, initial consonant. This was a semi-voiced B sound. Bien, bien, bien. Uh, sorry, bien, bien, bien. And this is pien, so an aspirated um, English P sound. Pien. And uh, several meanings. Original meaning was inclined, like when a person is not standing straight, but it's leaning against something. So that would be the original meaning and the meaning that the character has today as well inclined and um, then there are several other meanings let me just list some so uh, to be prejudiced or to sort of take sides take sides and again it can be derived from the meaning inclined because you basically are inclined to stand on one or other or the third side of, a, of an argument or of a conflict and it's an adverb which means uh, stubbornly and the fourth uh, meaning is to insist on something on something and the original meaning like I said is inclined more specifically a person that is inclined because the semantic element um, in the character is person person Next character in the series, pronounced pian, pian, and again several meanings. Chapter or section, chapter or section. Um, it's a measure word for written, written items. So if you say a piece of writing. That, that word piece in English is what pian means. So it's a measure word for um, written items. Written items. And uh, it also means a sheet of paper. Sheet of paper. And... Um, the original meaning was probably uh, really a chapter or a, or a section uh, because the semantic element is the top of the character, which is pronounced zhu. zhu. In the second tone, it means bamboo. Bamboo, it's, it's a symbol that re represents, uh, represents bamboo. And as you might or might not know, um, in ancient China, uh, articles and, and books and whatever was written on bamboo, so that's why the semantic element is here. And the last character in the series is pronounced pian. Pian. And uh, two meanings. First meaning to cheat. Second meaning to leap on a horse or to get on a horse. 
sleep on a horse. Uh, semantic element in this character is this one over here. Ma, it's a horse. So clearly pointing to the meaning to the second meaning to leap on a horse. You can find the character in expressions like pianzi, um, which is a someone who's lying, you know, someone who's trying to cheat you, or qi uh, pian, which is uh, basically to cheat, to swindle. All right, so um, this is it for this lecture. I hope you enjoyed it, uh, and I will see you in the next video.